Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about the trailer that just dropped for the new Sonic the Hedgehog movie. If you haven't seen it, I'll include a link in the description down below. Uh, how did I feel about it? Actually, I like it. I think it's kind of interesting. I know a lot of people might be upset about me about that, but for multiple reasons, it's just kind of like a, it's a movie. It's a thing, and I don't really care that much to be upset about. Maybe because, you know, Sonic isn't, you know, that sacred or important to me or you know it's just like it's a character i like but i'm not that well versed in sonic but i guess maybe just from the outside perspective of people just being like oh video games being adapted to movies like a lot of people just even way before now have not been on the whole bandwagon of not liking this i don't know like i mean everyone's entitled to their own opinion i think it's kind of interesting the perspective they're going about it obviously it's kind of like sonic in the real world which in the cartoon sonic has interacted with humans and been in a human world at least I think yeah I mean he definitely does it in the video games but I think in some of the cartoons he's done that too but it's interesting uh just to see that basically it's almost like they're going with like an origin story almost because the way the trailer kind of breaks down it seems like Sonic came from his world does this world to save it from what exactly I don't know because it doesn't even seem like Eggman's been established yet it's just kind of like oh he's just some scientist helping figure everything out because uh, at first, because I almost completely forgot that Jim Carrey was playing Eggman in this movie. But the fact is, at first he shows up with hair. I'm like, oh, what's the whole ball thing? I know I've seen you, like, I saw a picture of you from this trailer with the bald head. So I was like, what's going on there? It's like, oh, it's his origin story. So I guess he's almost kind of got like this Gargamel type of thing going on. Like Gargamel is to the Smurfs. I'm like, oh, I'm going to capture whatever this is and kind of study it and find out what it is. That type of situation. So I thought that was kind of fascinating. So I kind of get the feeling like it's probably going to be that situation. Obviously, like you get Sonic the entire movie and then at the end of it you'll get like maybe Sonic goes back to his world or maybe another portal opens up and Knuckles and Tails come to this world. I'm curious though like how did Sonic get to this world if he's like oh I came to save your world it's like what brought him to this world uh how far are they going to go with the Sonic canon or the, the Chaos Emeralds going to get involved or not. I obviously like the thing that kind of comes to my mind when it's like uh what was that it's kind of like it's got like a obviously Space Jam slash what was that movie with Brandon Fraser? Is it Looney Tunes or Back? I forgot. Like, that, I want to say, it's kind of got that feel to it. So, that's definitely going to be interesting. Obviously, it seems kind of, like, fun and wacky. And, I don't know, I, I like it. Like, especially because, once again, it's that thing of, like, because of the Flash TV show, I've grown to appreciate speedsters more. So, a lot of the speed stuff that Sonic does in this, I think it's kind of pretty dope. I just like how, aesthetically, how it looks. Like, even though, like, whole, like... What's it called? The spin dash when he like rolls like that. I think it's pretty dope. Even at one point when he's running, he creates like a sonic boom of like this like boom explosion kind of from like him taking off. It looks dope. And also that moment where all the missiles are firing at him and it's like he's moving so fast that it's almost like everything freezes around him. I wonder is that supposed to just be like, oh, he's super, super, super fast or is that just supposed to be the perspective of like, a, no, he just kind of got that cartoon logic of like, oh yeah, like he can kind of bend the rules. I think it's supposed to more so obviously be more in line with his speed, but I think it's kind of interesting to kind of get like more of a maybe scale of just how fast Sonic is. I mean, you get a scale, but it's just uh, to be put in like a, not necessarily real world perspective, but still just to kind of be in that moment where it's like literally it looks like the missiles are completely stopped because you move that fast. It's pretty dope to the point he can take the missiles and he's using them like he's playing drums or something. I'm like, that's actually kind of dope. I, just, I like the aesthetic. I even like how Sonic is designed. I know a lot of people probably hate that, but like I said, it's just my opinion. Like the fact of the matter is, I didn't walk into this trailer being like, oh, I'm gonna hate this. I didn't walk away from this trailer being like, I hate this. Like if I watch it, I watch it. If I don't, I don't. I, kind of fine either way but I mean if I do watch it I'd be interested to sit down and watch it to see you know what the whole movie entails exactly it's kind of interesting because it seems like James Martin uh James Marsden's character is like a cop or something so it's kind of interesting because like I think in, for whatever reason in my head I was under the impression like Sonic was going to be around like kids or something like 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 it's gonna be like oh a teenage adventure or something like that to be fair it's like well, well I don't know where I got that in my head I just figured I thought that'd be probably the more the aesthetic they might be going for. I should also note that I thought it was kind of interesting too. Once again, I'm not that well versed in Sonic. I've seen bits of Sonic here and there, whether it be cartoons or like some video games here and there, but I've never been that well versed. So like, I didn't know, I guess I kind of knew rings could be used as like teleportation. I've seen that kind of used in like games like in Mania, for example, like that's how you get to those little like chasing after the UFO sections. But it's like a typical Sonic fashion. I know you collect rings, but I'm wondering like what purpose they'll actually serve 
in the movie. Like, I'm, I'm wondering how crazy the movie will actually get with all of this. Like I said, kind of like, will it kind of have like full blown cartoon logic? You know, like things not making sense. Will the characters kind of break the fourth wall and be like, wait, why is that happening? That shouldn't be happening. I'm just so curious how they handle this. I mean, I didn't even think about that, but it's like, is it straight up that Sonic is from a different dimension or are we going like an alien route with this whole situation of like, oh, it didn't even cross my mind to even think about that. I just automatically assumed like from a different dimension, but it could easily be going like the alien route, so. Anna. My question to you guys is, how did you feel about a trailer? Were you going into this hating the whole thought of the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? Or did you go into this being open-minded to it? Did the trailer change your mind in a positive, negative way? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below. But really, that's all I want to talk about today. That's going to be happy, be safe, a little light to the force, and enjoy it. Good day and good night.